up y'all it's xavier stone and this is our first episode very special first episode first installment of cuisine colongi no guests on this episode today it's just me we're cooking a very simple meal just gonna be some ground beef pasta something that you can make for yourself just after a long day of work you get home it's a very simple recipe but throughout this show we will be trying new recipes bringing guests on and just having a lot of fun cooking and talking about food so tune in here this is the first installment we're gonna get started cooking up we've got our little setup here not too many items that we need for this so it should be pretty smooth let's see if i won't burn anything down so yeah cooking has always been a thing for me in my life like growing up we didn't really used to eat out much. I was definitely one of them kids. We'd be driving past McDonald's and I'd maybe look over and mom and dad would say, oh, we got food at home. And they were right. Like we always had food at home because mom was a great cook and she still is a great cook. She does a great job. She did a great job for all five of us growing up. A lot of people don't know my background really, but I'm first generation American. So growing up, we ate a lot of traditional Congolese food. It wasn't in the norm for us to have, you know, take out or carry out. Like it was for real, like mom was just gonna cook everything at home for us. I think that's how my dad wanted it too. Cause my dad, you know, wants his traditional foods that he grew up eating in the Congo. And mom knows how to make them. So she's gonna do that for him and for us. So that's how we grew up. On some episodes, we're gonna do some of those traditional foods. I'm gonna have my mom cook with me. Y'all are gonna see a little bit of background, the tradition. So that's kind of the premise of us doing this show is like me showing up some of the things that I learned from my mom growing up in the kitchen. All right, y'all, so we've laid out some of our ingredients. Not a lot. Uh, this is basically all I use to do my pasta. We've got our ground beef here. It says 93% lean, 7% fat. Don't really know what that means. Just gonna eat it. This is my favorite macaroni and cheese i love this brand annie's my mom and sister put me on i have that set aside i've got my strainer for the noodles a little pot here to put my meat in and then i've got my seasonings i keep it pretty simple with my seasonings but i do use a lot just salt onion garlic and black pepper just throwing that on there getting that good mixture and it always comes out tasting pretty spicy i like spicy i don't know if y'all like spicy but I like my shit to be a little spicy. I put black pepper on like everything. Pizza, pasta, shit, rice. Yeah, I use black pepper a lot. So that's basically it right there. We're gonna cut everything open and get started seasoning. That's the first step. Kind of cleaning out the meat and then yeah, seasoning it. I'll let it sit for a second. I'm gonna let it marinate for a second. So let's get into that. I like the salt first. We're all gonna die one day, so just do what you feel like is right for you. You know, moderation, obviously. I think I had a line in a song one time. I said, I think I said, I eat my vegetables, eat my greens. It's inevitable, cause yeah, death is inevitable. So even if you're doing the best you can do to be healthy and stuff, you're still gonna die one day. And I know that that's very somber to say, but I mean, for real, you can be the healthiest person. You just can't avoid that. So try and live a little, you know, eat unhealthy here and there, have a burger, have, have that shake, whatever it's gotta be. Satisfy your cravings when you feel them. So you wanna let it sit and soak up those flavors a little bit. I'm telling you, I, I go crazy with the seasoning. You gonna taste it. We're on to our next step right now. Just gonna get a little bit of vegetable oil on there. There's so many parts to cooking that you fall in love with. All the little steps, like this is one of my favorite steps, just seeing that. Just getting the pan ready, you know? Y'all hear that? So you wanna make sure there's some movement, some motion. This is where timing is important because as this is going, you wanna keep a mental clock. You don't want this to get done and then your noodles to not be done. So. See when I'll get started on the noodles. So, all right, y'all. We've got the meat on the stove doing its thing. It smells great. It's doing what it's supposed to. Like I said, our timing can be big. Sometimes, like, if you're so hungry and you're cooking, the last thing you want is to, like, have your meat get done and then not have your base, or, like, you know, your other side done. So that's why 
I kind of have it on the low setting and then I can take care of this now too. We want to get our water boiled. There's no reason to rush your cooking process. Be safe and make something solid. Make something that you love, especially if somebody else is eating it. I've got my noodles here. I'm gonna pour those in. Got my cheese ready for when the noodles are getting there. It's turning out good, you guys, like, wow. And let me know in the comments what, how I did. Cause I don't know, I'd be feeling like everybody has their own little touch to things, you know? And I just feel like my food has a little bit of touch to it. You guys see my process, like there's some love and some, some Jeffrey in this, you know, when you eat it, I think like you could give this to somebody who knows me and not tell them that I made it. And just from the taste alone, they would know it was me. They'd be like, you know what? It's somebody mutual. It's somebody that I know. That's Jeffrey. That's how your food should be. It should have some type of signature to it. You know, where motherfuckers just know it's you. Like my mom's food, you could give me something that somebody else makes that my mom makes and I'd know that it's my mom's because she's just got that signature to whatever it is she's doing. And that's how every chef, everybody who cooks should do it. It says usually cook noodles for like six to seven minutes. Hey, yeah. Pull it out, pull it out. It comes out all clumpy and I'll maybe even put a little bit of milk in there. Give it that real mac and cheese feel. Yeah, I'm using the almond milk. Let's pour a little bit in there. That's some real mac and cheese, y'all. Noodles are ready. All right, y'all gonna add a little bit of red tomato sauce. We've got the tomato and basil, classico. This is a good time to add it when we're getting near the end of cooking our meat. I wanna try and get it on the meat more than the pan so that it's not sticking. So yeah, just a little bit there. And oh, it's gonna sizzle a little bit, yes, for sure. I think by the time we get to like episode 100, I'll be like rated, like three-star chef maybe. So <laughs> stay with me y'all, stay with me through the journey. But I'm gonna fix a plate and I think I'm just gonna do a little taste test. Look at that, let's see. That's it right there, y'all. That's how it's done. Turned out even better than how it usually does. The right amount of cheese. Cuisine Cologne, episode one. We did some ground beef, macaroni and cheese. I'm glad y'all watched all the way through. I think this is gonna be a really special edition. Get to see my real kitchen, my daily, you know, habits, eating, and just my thoughts on where things can go if you keep yourself healthy and you got a good little routine. I love that I'm opening this platform to talk about food and to show you guys how we get down in the kitchen. So, Cuisine Cologne G, episode one, we're checking out. Let's do it.